Yeah, we've we've got 90s and upper 80s in the forecast for the vast majority of us. So if you are headed out to a Zooktoberfest, hanging out with the turtles, won't need that scarf necessarily. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s to start and by 730 down to 85 degrees. So a warm one by all accounts. And we look at the high on the day today, four shy of a record set back in 1937. And we won't be close to one tomorrow, but you look at both Saturday and Sunday and you got a good chance at tying or breaking some pretty old records. 1892 on Saturday and uh, Sunday, you got to go all the way back to last year to see the record that we set of 89 degrees there. Still dealing with overcast skies through a good portion of the metro, though we have seen some peaks of sunshine. That temperature sits at 78 degrees Dew point still in the middle 60s, so still a little thick as you're walking around outside. Though it is dry, you can see clouds starting to move their way on out. We've got the showers that we started the day with again have since shifted eastward and out of the state. Still six inches in some spots to the southeast regionally, though a lot more quiet. We've got clear skies as far west as Denver up towards Rapid City into Minneapolis as well. So if you are doing any traveling nearby, it's looking absolutely perfect. Still dealing with Tropical Storm Jose, though, off the Atlantic Coast. Tropical Storm warnings up just southeast of Boston. This thing's kind of been just hanging out, not really moving a whole lot, which has been decent news. The bulk of that heavy rain has stayed offshore. And we go down to uh, Hurricane Maria. You can see this thing still kind of spinning its way north of Santa Domingo. And kind of an ill-defined eye. Still pretty strong, though. And it's going to continue to track up off to the northwest. It's a cat three right now, likely will strengthen just a bit as it makes its way out to sea here. So thankfully kind of dodging the US mainland as it makes its way northward Sunday still though 110 mile an hour winds with that very strong storm. So locally here not looking too shabby. We do climb to 91 degrees this afternoon and temperatures kind of hang tight right up in that warm category 85 by 7 p.m. And even into the evening at midnight, we're still going to be looking at 80 degrees. It's Miami temperatures for us, and we're not going to get any rain to go along with that. Clouds continue to depart. You can see a little bit of cloud cover off to the northwest tomorrow morning. Otherwise, should see a good amount of sunshine throughout your Friday. And even into Friday evening and overnight, we're dealing with clear skies. So you look off to the northwest, clouds starting to make their way in into Saturday. Could see an isolated shower, mainly to the northwest on Saturday. And still a lot of spots that need it. You can see Metro here at five and a half inches below average for this time of year. Ottumwa at 12 and a quarter, though. That doesn't include the rainfall that they saw overnight. So still looking at uh, heat for a little bit longer here as we head our way into fall temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s through Sunday. More chances for showers and thunderstorms Monday into Tuesday. And you look after that and we really start to cool back down to fall temperatures. Highs backing down into the low to mid 70s next week. Starting to feel like fall, but you know, I want to apologize to you because you had a graphic of a turtle with a scarf on and I didn't mention it as yeah, I was, I was talking like, what to the you. Heck, Ray? That was amazing. Yeah, I appreciate you. Though. That's my personal pet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>